converting to Islam. The one that converts to Islam embraces the folds of this faith because they choose to voluntarily submit and surrender to the will of God in exchange for the ultimate acquisition of peace and contentment in this life and the hereafter. The one that is converted accepts the Islamic belief that to achieve true peace of mind and surety of the heart, one must submit to the ultimate Creator, the one true God, and live according to His divinely revealed laws. The one that converts comes to the understanding that no one is worthy of His or her worship and veneration except the one true Creator, the ultimate Creator, the Creator of this world and everything in it. He realizes that the only true purpose of his or her life to find God, build a relationship with him, and follow his commandments. The one that is converting realizes that God the Almighty would not leave him or her in the darkness without guiding and showing them how he wants them to live. So he, God, chose messengers and prophets throughout history to send to different nations at different times to communicate his message to humanity, to show how one should live, and to teach humanity about himself. These prophets came with glad tidings, stating that whoever worships the one God with no partners and lives a righteous life while obeying God's commands will enter paradise eternally, and whoever worships other than Allah and does not follow God's commandments will enter the hellfire. Islam is not a new religion, but embodies the eternal act of submitting to the will of God. It is the only acceptable religion in the sight of God. Islam is the true natural religion and offers the same message revealed through the ages to all of God's prophets and messengers. The one that is converting to Islam realizes that Islam will change his or her life for the better and that Islam will provide the light to guide them in their life and grant them true salvation from the eternal hellfire. The one that searches for his purpose in life and for his creator and is sincere and curious to learn the truth, that person will eventually be guided to the truth by the will of God and by his mercy, love, and justice. God guides those whom he wills and pleases. My dear brother or sister, if you have the desire to be a Muslim and have a firm conviction and belief that Islam is the true religion of God, then you are ready to embrace the folds of Islam. In Islam, every action begins with one's intention. So start by setting your intention in your heart and embrace Islam for the sake of God alone. It's highly recommended that you first take a bath or shower to symbolically purify and cleanse yourself of your past life and your past sins. It's also recommended that you wear suitable clothes on the day of your conversion. Unlike other religions, the act of converting to Islam does not involve any rituals, ceremonies, nor baptisms. All one has to do is declare the testimony of faith, which is known as the Shahada in Arabic, or the Declaration of Faith in English, which is the first of five pillars of Islam. These two statements encapsulate all the beliefs of Islam. I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. You can state this phrase in privacy by yourself or in public with witnesses, which is recommended as you could have help from others with the accuracy of the pronunciation of the wording in Arabic. The testimony of faith is recommended and only done publicly in a mosque or gathering. You testify, acknowledge, and express you are fully convinced that there is no deity worthy of worship and veneration other than Allah. Allah is the unique name of God, the ultimate creator. You acknowledge that there is only one God who is the sustainer, the creator, who is in control of all matters and all things, who has no partners, no children, no associates. He is the Most High, Most Merciful, All-Knowing, All-Wise, All-Seeing, All-Hearing. He is the first. He is the last. You also testify and acknowledge that Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, 
is the last and final messenger of God, who was sent to relay the same general message as the prophets before him. He is the best example and role model for humanity, a slave and worshiper of Allah, and should not be wrongly worshipped like past prophets, who were only human messengers of God, and not God himself. After you complete your testimony of faith, you are now officially Muslim. As a new convert, you do not need to be burdened by your past sins committed before your acceptance, as all of your past sins would be wiped clean, and you would start with a clean slate. As free of sin as a newborn child. Not only that, but all of your past sins would be converted to good deeds. You should attempt to the best of your ability to keep your slate clean as much as possible and do as many good deeds as you can. As a new convert, make a lot of supplications to God, asking Him to continue to guide you to the straight path and lead you to paradise and everything else you desire in this world and the hereafter. You should gradually continue learning more about Islam and practicing it by performing your five mandatory ritualized prayers that Muslims perform daily. You should not try to learn all aspects of the faith at once, as that might overwhelm you. Instead, continue to learn and grow your faith over an extended period. It's highly recommended that you find a local mosque or local Islamic community and attend their gatherings, seek Muslim support, and make new friends. You should also give charity and fast in the month of Ramadan, both of which are mandatory upon every Muslim. For those who are still unsure whether or not they should convert to Islam, they can pray to God without explicitly naming Him. Praying out and saying, O oh, you who created me, please guide me to the truth. Then continue to research and look further at the overwhelming evidence and proofs that Islam offers to affirm its existence and validity. Do not procrastinate and do not take this matter of faith lightly as you are not guaranteed tomorrow. Your test, your life, can end at any moment. Realize, my dear brother or sister, that you did not come to this passage by random or chance. Your Creator guided you here. May your journey to the answer and the truth be pleasant and successful.